a health coach and today I am here to tell you how to eat, how much do you eat in a day and how do you know what you should eat in a day. Some very simple rules that you can keep in your mind. Firstly, remember that your stomach, your empty stomach is only the size of a clenched, of your clenched fist. That's it. This is the size of your stomach. But it can expand to three to four times its size with the amount of food and fluid that you have in the day. And then return to this size once the food has passed into your small intestine. So remember the capacity of your stomach is determined by how much you eat. And the more you eat, the more your stomach will expand and indulge and battle. So how much you feel hungry is more um, a virtue of your habit than your requirement. So it is not important to feed your appetite or your hunger. It's important to eat right just enough so that you are not hungry anymore. There is a thin line of balance between full empty so you just need to eat as much as you need to not feel hungry anymore and getting used to that is a skill that you must develop over a period of time if you are not already used to it now how much do you eat when you take portions of food make sure that you start with very small portions and then you top up as and as and how much is required you eat what you need. Sometimes when there's food on the table, you eat just by force of habit. You eat because everybody is eating. You eat because you are sitting on the table and everybody is chatting and all you can do is to just pick up another ladle of food and eat just because you are sitting there. These are the little habits that you need to eliminate from your life altogether. Eat only as much as required and slowly over a period of time, you will be eating to satiate your hunger or rather to get over your hunger and not to feed your appetite or feed your mind. Feed your stomach, not your mind. Um, now how do you know what you should be eating? What you should be eating depends on how well it suits your gut, the food suits your gut. Over a period of time as you notice and become aware of what kind of foods you eat and the effect it has on your body in terms of maybe weight gain, in terms of your gut and how well you feel after you eat a certain meal, how it affects your energy levels, how it affects your mood and sleep. These are the different points of validation that decides what kind of a food structure actually works for you. Most of us Indians have grown up on a combination of carbohydrates, fats as well as proteins and that is what will work for most of us hence when we eliminate certain groups of foods like when we eliminate carbs completely from the diet a lot of people realize that it affects their sleep and may constipate them while a change in your diet may uh, while a change in your diet um, may take some time for the body to adapt to Remember, your sense of awareness will always tell you what is right. And it's very important to listen to that inner voice and listen to your awareness, develop that awareness in terms of the food that you eat. Dals, pulses, legumes, milk products, meats, eggs, rice, roti, these are our staple foods. And this is what will best work for your system because this is what you have grown up on. Your gut microbiota will be used to digesting these kinds of foods. All you need to do is to moderate the quantity that you are eating and tweak or make little changes depending on what your gut tells you or what your digestive system tells you. Eat enough in the day, eat within a two to three hour gap of each other because when you feed yourself a mid meal between your breakfast and your lunch, you are opening certain fat burning windows which makes the body comfortable, which makes your gut comfortable 
and also helps you to not overeat. And that is important for you to remember. So a breakfast, a lunch and a dinner is a must. Two meals in the day ensure that uh, they are enough to, to, you know, to satiate you are substantial enough. Whereas one meal in the day can be light. Supplement these with two snacks in the day, one for your morning mid meal and one for your evening mid meal. You will realize that once you start eating like this and when you eat on time, uh, a lot of the problems of the gut will be eliminated. You will not land up feeling acidic or bloated. You will not, not land up with headaches. Um, you will not land up with cravings. You will not go to sleep on an empty stomach. You won't wake up in the middle of the night feeling hungry and feeling like you really need to eat something. The other rule that you need to observe and follow is that you need to be consistent with this kind of an eating pattern. Wherever you go, whatever you do, you need to be consistent. It's a habit and a skill that you develop. Like I say, just like you would play tennis or learn to play the piano or an instrument or would learn to you know, sing, um, it's, it's a habit and a skill that you develop. Eating right too is a skill that you need to develop over a period of time. So just be consistent, be comfortable with yourself and even if you err in the day, don't worry. Tomorrow is another day. You will learn. You will learn from your mistakes and you will learn to eat well over a period of time. All you need to have is the right intent and the right approach.